G'day everyone, Envy here and we're back with some more MTG Arena. Today we are playing License to Mill. This is an Azorius mill deck for Standard that utilizes Kruger the Macro Sage as a companion since all our cards have a converted mana cost of 3 or later. 3 or greater. <laughs> and the idea of this is to couple two cards together. The first is Teferi's Tutelage, where every time we draw a card, our opponent mills two cards. And Cosmos Elixir, so that be about end step, draw a card if your life total is greater than your starting life total. Otherwise, you gain two life. So basically, we get up to 20 life and then we start drawing cards. Now, this is really cool because we can use this to essentially stall for as much time as we want. Since we have Cosmos Elixir, as well as four copying spells, four Mirror Maid and four Mythos of Luna, we can essentially be gaining uh, 24 life at every end step of our end step, which means yeah, our opponent has to do a lot of damage to kill us. But even if they don't kill us, we can start drawing cards to trigger our Teferi's Tutelage. With a little bit of Midnight Clock for some redundancy of reshuffling our stuff, as well as see get Restoration to stop ourselves from having to drop all the cards we draw. To keep our opponents at bay, we are running 4 Doomscar, 4 Shadow of the Sky to board wipe our opponent's stuff, and 2 Vanishing Light for target and removal. And the great thing about Vanishing Light as being an enchantment is that we can use Mythos of a Luna or Mirror Maid to make more copies of Vanishing Light should the need arise. We're also running 4 Brazen Borrower, since we can activate Petty Theft during turn 2 to bounce a troublesome opponent's card, and we can still put him in as a flying creature as well. So that's the main deck. So because we are running only two colors, and since there is really no reason not to play it, we are playing the snow-covered lands, including the glacial floodplain, the island, and the plains. So we can play two faceless havens just as another way of you know blocking or dealing damage. We might as well, since there's no reason not to. And that is essentially the deck. It is pretty fun when it goes it goes off, and it goes off quite often. We do have a couple matchups that we do find unfavorable, and there are two in particular. One is anything that relies on mill to win, such as a uh, anything with the god Croxa in it is a little bit of a painful thing because they can keep getting more and more out. That and <laughs> anything that runs a bunch of Planeswalkers, since we have a lot of creature hate, but not a lot of Planeswalker hate. Vanishing Light being our only one. Um, and Doom Foretold. I do not like Doom Foretold against this deck. It's it's not a lot of fun. The only hope you have is removing them or uh, <laughs> milling them out before they get the chance to get their Doom Foretolds out, which doesn't always happen, but it can. Anyway, that's the deck. Let's go play some standard and see how we can do with our license to mill. Let's get going. Alright, opponent's going first, but we have a bunch of lands, and a Shadow of the Sky. All we need is another blue land, and we should be looking happy. So, opponent does get to go first, but we do, hopefully, hit him with them Shadow of them Skies, which is going to be fun. And we'll just give a friendly hello... Are you coming to play, or are you just going to sit there? Hmm. Oh, okay, so Blossoming Sand, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm going to go with the Miscate Pathway. That means next turn we can play the Doomscar. Depends what kind of deck he's playing. If it's heavy creatures, then we need to probably put Doomscar down next turn. Yes, okay, so it is going to be a bit of a... A big one. So let's just go foretell the Doom Scar. We've got another Doom Scar we can foretell as well later on. Commit a bunch of creatures to the board. So this is a Selesnian Adventures, maybe. It is. Alright, that's a bit worrying. Okay. Snow. Doom Scar. Blow up his entire field. Excellent. Helpful. half uh huh? Interesting. Alright, well, we could Shadow the Sky. We could. Or, we could foretell this one. And, we bounce him. 
back to his hand. So he has to play it again. Because if I'm guessing, I know what he's playing. He's playing uh, Silesian Adventure Weenies. Which is a fun deck, to be sure. It's a good deck. He's not playing anything on it. Which is interesting. Um, I am definitely feeling... Definitely feeling like shattering them skies is a good idea. Unless he's got protection. Nope, it's gone. Good game. Is that it? Do you give up now? Oh, he doesn't give up. Okay. Guess we'll just keep on going then. Gary Squire. To be fair, all I've done so far is play... <laughs> Is play board wipes to him, which is, you know, probably not the most fun he could ever have. Do I want to kill Garen Big Squire again? I don't think I do. Because I can always play my Faceless Haven and block something of his. But I wanna I wanna get more bang for my buck, you know what you know what I mean? Ah, uh, Guide Mother. Ooh, flying to the end of ten Ooh, flying. Yes. Put more stuff down. Please. Put more stuff down. He's going... F He's going full tilt. Six damage is fine. To pretty much take out all your stuff. Sure. Alright, what do we got? Oh, a blue land. Fantastic. Let's go and Doomscar everything. And pass turn, and then we'll flash in our Brazen Borrower. Not as much fun when you don't have a bunch of creatures on the field anymore, is it? But don't, don't fret. We'll go Snow-Covered Island. We will go with a Faceless Dude. And we will... Swing for bit damage. That's seven damage he takes. And I am definitely going to go and grab myself a Karuga. Because technically Brazen Borrower is a th mana cost three or later. Oh, Wonder Man. Seagate Restoration. I could play Seagate Restoration. I could... And I should. But I'm going to play Karuga. <laughs> Just so I can draw one card. Or oh, Brazen Borrower as well. It's really nice. Alright. Uh, let's go. Brazen Borrower. Go for that swing. You don't have reach, do you? No, you don't. You're a horse. I end my turn with that. And I got another Brazen Borrower to bounce something back. How lovely. Oh. Oh. Well, that's not fun. Oh. On his combat phase, I will activate, get it back, draw a card, and then block his Wandermere. And then he'll do it again. I'm going to return your Banishing Light back to your hand. I'll get my dude back. I'll draw a card. And declare my Blocker of Karuga. Now you can remove him again. That's fine. But I did take out your creature and draw a card at the same time. Oh, poor Karuga is gone. How unfortunate. Midnight Clock. Away. Put the Snow Covered Lands. Do I want him back right now? Hmm, no, I don't really need him. I'm kind of in a good spot. And we can always give ourselves some more tokens in his turn. Which I will do in his end step. Or I can flash him my own other Brace and Borrow, which is also a pretty good choice. Go for that sweet, sweet win. All of your creatures are dying. Ooh. 
I'm going to flash in Braze tomorrow, and I'm going to go put an hour clock down on my dude. Alright, so it's pretty much GG now. Let's go with the Snow Covered Island. Let's go see at Restoration, just so we can get some more sweet stuff. Hmm. Not oh, I can already tap that one. That's that's fine. Off we go. Down to two. End our turn. Not nothing really much going on. And it's over. Beautiful. Oh, this is Brutus Shadow. No, it's a new person. Okay, we're asking someone else now. Alright, going first. This is better. I'm keeping this. Let's not drop connection this time. Oh my god, that was not fun. <laughs> so we, we went from one game to another. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> because why not? Alright, um, this is fine. I got Brazen Borrow to bounce something of his if he does something I don't like. And then we got Shadow of the Sky to blow everything else up, which is always fun. Oh, he put something down. Oh, I don't like that. Not one bit. So guess who's coming with the tutelage? It's me. And probably going to drop my Faceless Haven, since out of all the lands, it's the least useful right now. And I can. Oh, this is Jeskai Control. Oh, okay, fun. Oh man, that's got that's got to be awful. Do you reckon? Do you reckon? And that's the question. Do you reckon he will counter another tutelage coming down? Yes, he does counter. That's unfortunate, but you know, whatever. It it is what it is. So we are going to face some counter spells. It's all right. Oh, he foretold again. And if it's a counter spell. I guess he's not going to get much out of it. Alright, well, Mirror Maid away. Tutelage. Ooh, Midnight Clock is very nice. Uh, what don't I want? What don't I want? What don't I want? Oof, I do want Clock. I do want Restoration. I'm guess I'm going to go with... Just going to look at his thing. I don't see any creatures, so I think Shadow Sky is probably the least useful card in my hand right now. And watch me eat my own words when that is not the case. Oh, Elsa Conquers Death. That would be bad. And another one of those. That would also be bad. Let's play the Seagoat Reborn. Because I want to be able to, just in case I have to Brazen Borrower, I would really like that. Now, he's foretold something. It's probably, it could be a Counterspell. It's not a Counterspell. Hmm, it's not a Counterspell. That's interesting. But he has got four cards in his hand. So he can do a lot of cool stuff. Oh, he did foretell again. That's always good. I do enjoy when they do things. Does he, though? Oh, there goes another one. Oh, there's another counter spell. He can't counter anything right now. This is good, you know? So if I play you, which is a good idea, honestly, it's a really good idea. And then I play the Snow Covered Plains. We could Mythos of Aluna on to Fairy's Tutelage again and get a third Fairy's Tutelage. And I'll just drop the, the Plains since I don't really need that right now. And he'll mill six cards. Oh. 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 So he's. That's one Elspeth the Conqueror's death. That's two Elspeth the Conqueror's death. I wonder how many he has. I don't know. I don't think drawing cards is going to help you out a terrible lot. So he goes for a scoop. That's fine. What a convoluted way we got to that game. But you know, all in all, worked out pretty well. Alright, with the opponent going first, which is interesting. Hmm. I do have bounce. And I could for Faceless Haven. 
And a mulligan. Mm, it's okay. Banishing light's all right. Hmm. We'll keep the six and probably just go with... I can do it either either way. I think myth Mythos serves more purpose than Mirror Maid, so Mirror Maid can go away. So we are a little bit behind, as long as they're not playing a Tybalt deck. They're not, they are playing Mono White Aggro, which is always a fun card to play. Island. Ooh, Daxos. I'm going to get rid of him. When I can. It's just it. Can we hit... Can we get... Can we gain... Where we want to be before we get there. We'll have to banish the light next turn. Just get rid of something. I think Daxos is the better choice. Since he's just going to gain more life through that. Clerics, huh? Alright. Respectable. Uh, Snow Covered Island. Banishing Light. I'm going to grab myself and destroy a Daxos. Goodbye, Daxos. You're going away. For a trip. And I think we'll have to play Midnight Clock and stick down the Glacial Floodplains and just try and go for a Karuga. With the level of damage he's doing, I don't think he's too... I'm too worried right now. Oh, I got Mirror Maid, though. That's pretty good. Hmm. I don't want that yet. Let's go Midnight Clock. Because Midnight Clock is just awesome. Allowing us to ramp a bit faster. And put the floodplains down. Now, that means we can grab... With that, we have six lands. We can grab Kruger and Mirror Maid, maybe a Banishing Light to take away something else. If need be. Then we can play Kruger and at least draw three cards. Hopefully find a Shadow of Skies. Even though he can keep saving his guys, which is not fun for us. Hello. Has he got a response? Is that what's happening? Are you, are you holding up response? Oh, he is. He's holding up response. Alright, second Mythos. So, here's the plan. I think we are taking a lot of damage. Which is true. So, we need to get stuff on board straight away. And the way we do that is by going with this. Going the Snow-Covered Island. Going Mirror Maid. Becoming... Hmm. Becoming Banishing Light and going to steal a Selfless Savior. This allows me to play Karuga next turn and draw three cards, at least. Oh, well, he sacrifices. It's one less guy who's going to hurt me next turn. Hopefully, we can find some of our rocks and then we can make some Mythos rocks, which would be super fun. Or one of the eight. <laughs> one of the eight. Board wipes I have. Oh, wow. He can't save... Oh, he can. Oh, he can. Oh, we can make a copy of him. We can become like him. Oh. Oh. Hmm. That's a problem. Because he can make himself indestructible. Or protect himself. But we can draw three cards. Which is fun. And there's our tutelage. Perfect. Let's go with the white land. Let's pass turn since we have a removal spell. So here we go. If he swings, we'll block and he'll go. So we'll attack, he'll block. Faster blockers. I'm gonna go Karuga, block for damage. He's going to activate his thing to make him invincible. And then I'm going to Brazen Burrow and return Resolute Rider back to his hand. Now he can either sacrifice Resolute Rider with a Relic... Oops, I take a full control now. 
So you either sacrifice him with Relic Vile, or he goes back to your hand. And Kruger lives to fight another day. Slowly but surely. Seriously, I'm happy he's gone. He is way more annoying than he needs to be. Alright, so here's the plan. We go for the tutelage. And I need these cards in my hand, so I'm gonna, probably going to drop my Shadow of the Sky. Because, you know, it's not as much fun as you'd think it is. This is two cards. Faceless Haven away. I could go Mythos and copy my Karuga and draw a bunch more cards. Which I might do. I want that one, though. Draw a bunch of cards. There we go. And you mill a bunch of cards. And then I get to swing at him. Still didn't find the card I want. But I did make him lose 10 cards. And he scoops, so it all works out in the end. Alright, I'm going first. This is actually great. You know why? Tutelage. Cosmos. Shatter. Who doesn't like all those cards? I know I do. And we start with the Glacial Floodplains, since it does come in tap, so it doesn't really affect us too much. White is... Lifelink. Okay, well then Shadow of the Sky is going to be a great addition to my collection. Snow-covered plains. I will definitely go with Tutelage next turn. Oh, Because doubt he has much way of getting rid of it. Oh yeah, so we need to get on that. On that real quick. Snow-covered island, tutelage away. Out of all these things, I don't need. Probably the Henge Gate's the least effective one. I can always get them back eventually as well, so it's all good. What do you lose? Ooh, Revitalize and Scout Barons. That's unfortunate. Let's hope he piles more creatures down and we can actually blow everything up. It's a shame. That is a real shame. Blow everything up. We'll go with the Cosmos Elixir next turn and just slowly tick ourselves back up. Cosmos Elixir away. And we can go Mirror Maid and put, make a copy of this thing. <laughs> oh, so great. Mythos of Luna, make a copy of Indulging Politician. It's only one damage, not too much. Ooh, Doom Scars sounds fun. Let's play this one. Midnight Clock, always a good card to have. And let's go and foretell a Doom Scar. If I hit a land next turn, I can go Mirror Maid and Doomscar. Who doesn't like that? I absolutely do. Oh, he just wanted to get stuff. I, I don't know what just happened. Okay, whatever. Still game win. Alright, go on first. Keep it, because I have Shadow of the Skies. Floodplains away. And I have Doom Sky as well, so <laughs> all in all, it's pretty good. Green. Green is our best matchup, actually. Actually, surprisingly enough, red is our best matchup. So don't have any interaction for our stuff. Horn Beetle, huh? Hmm. Do I want to Doom Scar now? Let's get the. No. I think I'll wait a turn. I get more bang for my buck, hopefully. Ah, oh, we're full of Haven. Another will fill a haven. 
Hmm. Interesting. Let's go and put down a blue land. Let's go Cosmos Elixir. That'll net us back to 20, and all is well in the world. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Whoa, Gigantosaurus. That's a big one. And that's and that, my friend, is when we play. Hmm. I don't have enough land to do either, so it doesn't matter. Let's go shadow the skies. Get rid of those. Get rid of Gigantosaurus. Get some more life back. Please commit more stuff to the board. I like when they do that. Rampane Prontodon. Okay, that is not fun. And since it's really not enough for me to get that creative with that, we'll just get rid of that. That is a really good card, and it really annoys me when they do things. Hmm. Light blade. Bye, blood blade. Alright, with the opponent going first, but we can doom him out, which is pretty good. I hope. <laughs> Depends on what he's playing with black. Hmm. Clerics, huh? Well. I think it's best to just get ready for the inevitable. That is to happen. Yeah, that's gonna that's definitely a blowy up sort of uh, time to be. Around. Yeah, that's that's uh that's gonna be a note from me, pal. Just gonna be like a straight up look. I see what I I, I see what you're doing, but no, absolutely not. Hmm, I could shatter the sky, but it really wouldn't help all that much. So. Let's pass the turn. Let's bring a Brazen Borrow out. We can do some fun things. There's another Shadow of the Sky. Wow, that's impressive, isn't it? Oof. Uh, Flood Plains. Let's grab Karuga. Let's go and swing. We're just gonna crush all of the cards. Like Heliod, that's not fun. Oh, actually, I can make my own Heliod. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? Oh, can I have one? Can I have it? Can I have Heliod? All right, let's let's play the land first. Let's go swing three damage. Let's shadow the sky. Get rid of everything. I want your Heliod. Give me your Heliod. Ah, oh, that's what I want. Excellent. I need you in my life. Perfect. Yay. Cosmos Elixir. Get some life back. That's so nice. Tick, tick. Up on him. Ooh. Hello. Now. Here's the fun part. I can go Mirror Maid. On... Cosmos Elixir, which is also a great idea, and hmm. 
we can go Mythos of Aluna. I could take his Heliod, but I'm going to go Cosmos Elixir. Mostly because I just want to gain some long life. Beautiful. And then we can play Karuga next turn. Or Shadow of the Sky. Either way, it doesn't matter. Oh, Banishing Light. That is not fun. Taking out one of my guys. And Hollow Priest. Yeah, we're going to Shadow the Sky next turn. Yeah, that's going to be a note from me, man. Sorry, dude. You don't get to have things and be like that. So pass turn with that. Still gain some more life. And I draw a card. <gasps> and Midnight Clock. Beautiful. That is always nice. Righteous Valkyrie, huh? Mm. Mm, not a big fan of that one. Alright, so it's my turn now. I'm going to play a land. I will probably go with blowing you up because I don't like you. Chuck the Midnight Clock down. And draw two cards. And there we go, we got tutelage and we got lands. Perfect. We're on we're on we're on our way for fun. And I have enough to play both cards. So let's get started. First we go with Teferi's tutelage. So we're gonna start the mill process out. Oof. Hmm. Probably just... Probably get rid of Tutelage. I mean, we can always get him back later, you know. But we'll go Karuga now. Draw some cards. Ooh, beautiful. And that's eight cards gone for him. And I think, I think we're going to go Foretell Doomscar. That's great. Okay, draw two more cards. And so it begins. More counters. So, I'm guessing this is where the the game comes to an end. I don't think he can really win now. And, yep, there we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. So, he did manage to win a couple of games, which makes me pretty happy because I've been having a lot of fun with this deck. I do think we can make some modifications to make it better. I am thinking of dropping uh, four of my lands here for the... Uh, Temple of I. I want it's the the white the white and blue temple. So just to have a bit more um, flexibility with that color of the lands. We still have enough uh, snow covered lands to trigger faceless haven. So I think that might be a good start. But I would love to see your feedback of how to improve this. So I really think that the Two Fairies Tutelage or Cosmos Elixir combo is quite fun and quite good. So we can see how that card, you know, how that card combo can be improved upon. So if you have any ideas to improve the deck, please let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you haven't already, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for future MTG Arena videos. I do post new video every second day. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your support, and I will see you again next time. Bye for now, everybody.